my name is Emer Jones. I'm from Tralee and I go to Presentation Secondary School in Tralee. For the student, I suppose, it can be a bit nerve-wracking with the judging and things, but, you know, the judges are all pretty nice, and so throughout the week, you know, everyone becomes more relaxed and the social scene really picks up here. <laughs> all these projects are in the top third of all the projects entered, so the standard is really high. I mean, it's, it's very hard, I suppose, for the judges, I, I would imagine, to pick any you know, winning project. My project last year was looking at temporary shelters for use after natural disasters, just seeing if I could make them a bit more accessible by, ch by tweaking it a bit, I suppose. Um, I presented it to Trokera during the year, and they have it now. For me, I suppose it's getting back down to basics, and I've junior cert this year, so, um, yeah, I'll definitely keep up my interest in science, though. Uh, my name's Gillian Byrne. I'm from St. Joseph College, Chummer Hill, in um, Athlone. My name is Emma Lennon and I'm from St. Joseph's College, Summerhill in Athlone and I'm in transition year. Are we fit? A comparative study uh, uh, on the wee fit versus conventional exercise. I had a wee, a wee and we were going to buy a wee fit and we kind of researched about the wee fit and we found that there was many bad uh, reviews about the wee fit saying that it was no suitable substitute for conventional exercise so we thought that we'd look into it. With our research it showed that the uh, wee fit was the best out of the conventional and the control. I'm Brendan O'Connor from St. David CBS in our town. So, uh, our project is about quantifying the power of mines and effects in our local GAC club. What we want to do is want to see how much of an effect the mine has in our GA club and want to put a percentage on it. So what we found was a negative, negative criticism can severely damage your performance, will make you run 8 seconds slower or at 90.92%. Whereas a positive, uh, positive influence will make you run one second faster, 100.61%. Peter Keane from Gork Community School, Galway, and this is my project, WAC-Fi. Uh, basically, it is improving Wi-Fi by using a wok, tin foil, and some cans and routers. So when put together, they greatly improve it by going from 20 megahertz up to 50 megahertz. Hi, I'm Ashling and this is my um, two mates, Elizabeth, and we're from the convent of Mercy in Roscommon. And we're from class 4A, but we're in TY, and we just kind of did our project on, um, on blondes and do the um, really lower male's IQ. And we, were just, we just kind of went down to our schools in our local area, and we went up to an IT and um, we kind of did five IQ tests and put different pictures on them of a blonde hair, black hair, brunette and a ginger and just to see how the results varied in them and it came out really that um, our blondes kind of had no effect, they kind of more or less hired it than they did um, lower it and the brunettes came out that um, they kind of had higher, you know, oh no, the brunettes lowered it than the blondes, but, you know, it was kind of an easy enough project to do as there wasn't kind of much to. This is a very important event in, in Ireland. I think it's really good to see science, technology, engineering, maths to be presented in such a stimulating way. It's making science real and exciting for young people. I was here last year. Um, and I've come back this year and our uh, department are f helping fund some of the schools from the north uh, to come here and participate and this year we have um, the schools in the north, there's more schools than ever participating and it's great and they're from every single county. I'm in a bit of an unusual situation because I'm actually from Mayo originally and arrived to uh, the north of Ireland via Central America because I worked in the third world for a while in Trocra and then I was working on human rights in the north and now I'm minister in the new executive. Um, so I'd love to see Connacht or Ulster winning the Sam Maguire, but I have to say Connacht will be my first, you know, I'd like to see Mayo doing well, but after that I'm up for down. When we uh, reached our political arrangements in 1998, um, we solved, we, we set out a structure for dealing with the differences between us. And we've always maintained that once you got that off the table and that problem sorted out, it, there was no longer any obstacle to mutual cooperation. We have announced within the last few months two batches of major research and development, which is collaborative research between uh, the universities in Northern Ireland and the universities in the Republic. And uh, I'm hoping that we can do even more on that. This is, a, a, um, this is collaboration for mutual interest and benefit. And it doesn't have a political hang-up for me, because... Um, we will cooperate with, with any schools or with, with large companies um, as long as there's a benefit. And that, that's why I, I think this is a positive development here. That's why I encourage it and that's why I hope it continues. I've come here every year for the last 10 years 
uh, and it always gives me a tremendous sense of hope and optimism for the future. Uh, the standard is extremely high. The quality of young people who have various scientific projects and technological projects um, is amazing. But not only the fact that they, they're doing science or technology, but that they articulate what they're doing very simply and well. And um, so it, it, I genuinely, genuinely get a great buzz out of it. And I, get a great, I get a great sense of optimism for the future because I think the country is in good hands with the generation that is coming up.